Okay, I'm gently going to position your head. And I want you to tell me when this feels snug. I can't move my head. Perfect. Deep breath. Relax. Do you know what? My assistant's giving me an incomplete file. I'll be right back. Hold on, you're leaving? Is that supposed to be happening? You guys gotta tell me, what was it like being on set? It was amazing. I, mean, I know it was crazy. It was oh pretty God. wild. It's it, pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, there, on any given day, you never know, you never knew what was gonna happen. Uh -huh. uh, four cars would explode. You're gonna be dangling over the water from cable wires at 200 yeah. feet yeah. tall. You're gonna have, you know, objects stuck in your eyes for 47 hours. It, it, every <laughs> single day was just an, an adventure. That's what I loved about it. It was so real. I mean, we really weren't even acting. We were running on an actual, you know, they remade a bridge on Brunswick Pit overlooking the ocean and they had stunt cars crashing into each other. I was really reacting to the actual crash of a car. Did you guys do your own yeah. stunts? We were very hands-on with a lot of it as far as like, you know, jumping 40 feet and obviously the speculum and jumping into freezing cold water. Yeah, it was, I think a lot of us were all very hands-on with our characters and it, it was, it, for someone who loves, like I'm a daredevil, mm -hmm. I love rides and I wanted to be hands-on with everything. So. <laughs> yeah, I would say the coolest day was I got to be in a harness and they, you know, reeled me up 40 feet yep. and then just Drop dropped and I screamed oh, and it was scary. Over and over and again. I loved it. Oh man, now I hear you used to be a gymnast, am I correct? Or yes. You I still was. compete? Uh, no, no, no. Um, I did it for 13 and a half years and quit uh, sophomore year of high school. And uh, then when I auditioned for this role, I told them, you know, I can't do anything right now, but if you put me in a gym and I train for a couple weeks, I can definitely get some stuff back. Wow. So I trained for eight weeks and um, and got some of those tricks back. So it was really cool. Oh man, now Miles, I understand you. Are, there was a, a wild card. You were a wild card. Tell us a little bit about your character. He's a pretty buttoned up um, guy who thinks he's got all the answers. And when these horrible things happen and keep on um, just destroying his life, he tries to make sense of all of it. Um, there is no real answer for it. And so in his determination to find a solution, he really flips out. Have you ever come close to death? Have I? Yeah. I come close to death all the time. And how, and how is it now playing in a movie where you know you're going to die? I know. It, <laughs> <laughs> well, my parents are going to freak out when they see this movie. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I, I am a big, like I said, daredevil. I have come close to death probably so many amounts of times. Um, but it was very interesting playing... Olivia, like you said, like a badass rocker chick mm -hmm. who's very, you know, comfortable with herself and very honest and doesn't do, you know, say things to necessarily hurt anyone, but mm -hmm. she just is, doesn't really have a filter. And then finding out, okay, now she has to get laser eye surgery and that was very challenging. So, um, yeah, to come now, I'm actually, all the times in my life that I've come this close to death, actually having to die in a movie was just... It was awful. Uh, last question. <laughs> you guys, what should the audience expect from this movie, guys? Fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot fun, of fun. Fun, funnies. You're right at the edge of your seat. Edge it's your seat. A, mm -hmm. adrenaline rush. They really nailed it. Really nailed it with the visual effects, dark humor, you know, the relationships with the characters. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a fun time. It's a fun ride.